Hey guys, what's up? It's Alexis from The Razor Effect, and I'm here with a special guest, my cousin Sully. So, a couple days ago, we went to uh, 34th Street, and we went to uh, the great Pastar Pharmacy. Pastar Pharmacy, and uh, you could tell them how much I spent. $330. And 50 Three. cents. Yep. And it was all worth it. It was all worth it. Uh, it hurt me for a second, but every time I looked inside the bag, I said, okay, like it was worth it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys all the products I have today, and I'm gonna let Sue here smell all of them, and she's gonna give you her, her opinion on it. All right, I've so. I've got the special nose. That's right. So we first, we have Chella, very legendary. The only reason why I got it is because there's a lot of positive reviews on it. Uh, from right here, it says $13, but you could actually get it pretty cheaper online. But I saw it, and I said, I might as well grab it. It smells like cherries. Yeah, that's what it is. Like it's supposed to like, be. Like it smells like fresh cherries. Yeah. So what this is supposed to be made out of? It says uh, it's an almond soap, but the ingredients consist of almonds and cherries, from what I've heard. And it's a pretty good. Uh, it's a hard and soft lather. What I really don't like about it, it's pretty small, so it's gonna be hard to build up on a brush. So what I could probably just do is scoop it out, put it in my lather bowl, and make a lather. Next we have the Holy Black New York. Um, artisan line shaving soap. I got this because I follow them on Instagram and I know they have a lot of uh, good pomades and everything and they have their own barbershop establishment. So I wanted to try it out and uh, I wanted to try out their soap. So. Well first, it kind of looks like oatmeal. Yeah. Then yeah. it looks like oatmeal. I thought it looked like little peanuts inside. I can't really, it's got kind of like a sweet taste but it's like yeah. soapy. Yeah. It's like a, it's like when you walk into a barber shop, kind of like that, but yeah. with a little bit of spice on it, like, like some old spice, but it's really fresh. And I really like the tint, the tint in it. Next we have Razor Rocks, uh, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, so a couple reasons why I got this. One, the name st stood out a lot to me. Two, there's really not a, a lot of YouTube reviews on this. And third, um, we really love Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd is the best. So that's one of the main reasons why I got this. And uh, But it's a, it's a soft but hard lather. To me, it kind of looks like sand. It smells like cologne. Yeah. But it smells really good. It's yeah. not like strong. Ooh, I like that. Kind of looks like kosher salt too. Yeah, it looks like salt. So this is the um, how to grow a mustache synergy soap. Um, I'm not sure if this is a Phoenix Artisan Acoustrumens. So Doug, if you're watching this, uh, please let me know if this is like one of your products. I'm not 100% sure because it doesn't have, you know, your logo. Well, right here, actually, yeah, Phoenix Artisan Acoustic, so. I really don't know the scent of this. It just smells really fresh. Well, I just got it on my nose. <laughs> it just smells like soap, but it's got like a, like a cologne. Yeah. Like, yeah, it smells good. It smells good. Next we have the Murphy McNeil uh, Nade Naid. Um, I see a lot of their stuff on uh, on Instagram. I follow their page, and they're kind of you know not like a big 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 business, but I've always wanted to try their stuff, and it smells really good. This stuff smells really good. It's a soft lather too, like a really soft, like kind of like lotion. So I could just scoop that out and put it into a lather bowl. It kind of smells like a shampoo to me, kind of like a candy. It does smell like a candy. Like a fruity shampoo. Yeah. Kind of like panty. Yeah. Skittles. Skittles <laughs> panty. That's an inside joke. <laughs> Next we have Melonade. So one reason why I wanted to get this is because I saw Ken Surfs try it on a YouTube video and I really want to try it too. Um, 
I want to get the uh, the matching aftershave for two reasons. One, I was already racking up $330, so no thanks. And plus, there wasn't the matching aftershave. Most likely, I would have got it and went up to the 340s. Probably went up to 400. Maybe. Who knows? It smells like sour patch kids to me. Like a watermelon sour patch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It smells like yeah. Like, it smells like watermelon sour patch kids. Wow. So. <laughs> All right, next we have the from Phoenix Artists and Acoustic is my favorite brand, Planet Java High, which means Planet Coffee Honey. And like I said, I always love his graphic designs. You know, he does all this by himself and you get what you pay for it. So I really love the packaging. This one's a hard lab. Yeah, this one's just like coffee. Like a fresh brewed coffee. It smells like really good coffee and I'm a coffee fiend, so. Yeah. Next from the soap line, uh, we have the Arco shaving stick. I really want to try this because everyone seems to do a review on it and it just seems really cool to do, apply soap with a shaving stick. So just put it on and put the brush to work and you can just smell it right through it. It just smells like a regular soap, like a dish soap and a, like a laundry detergent. Mm -hmm. It just smells like a laundry detergent. Yeah, laundry Nothing detergent. special, you know, I just like it cool because it's stick for me. So that's it with the soaps. Um, we also got the Paraso. I got Paraso because that's it. Paraso is one of those shaving companies that you could just, it's safe to get. And I got their pre-shave cream. I'm usually an oil guy. I, I'll use Rebel, Rebel Refinery pre-shave oil, but I really wanted to see how good the cream is. I know uh, my good friend Shaving with Maddie, I think he used this. I know Ken Surf's used this. I know a bunch of people use this, so. Has a big menthol smell. Smells like Vicks if you use Vicks. Any Latinos out there, you know exactly yeah. what we're talking about. Yeah, use it on everything. It's, it clears up all your senses. Yeah. Opens up every pore. And I uh, appreciate it's not necessary, but for a good performance, I like to use it. Uh, we got the Witch Hazel. Uh, I never use Witch Hazel, but I heard it's really good for your skin. So I want to use it because I have sensitive skin and I know everyone and their mom uses this sometimes so I wanted to be one of those people and their moms to use this. Next, so before I show you guys this brush, a little story time. So mm -hmm. I wanted to get the uh, the Phoenix Artisan Acoustrumens, uh, I forgot what was it, Atomic Rocket I think, it was a 26 millimeter brush, pretty big brush, that's why I wanted to get it. I already have the solar flare. Uh, at home, 24 millimeters. So I just want to get another Phoenix Artisan Acoustic brush, but there wasn't no, no, no standard, price tag no on price it. tag, no standard. And the lady was all like, "Well, sir, you're gonna have to get another. Can you, can you check if there's another one?" But that was the only one there, so she couldn't ring me up, even though she worked there. Now I tried to bash the pharmacy, great pharmacy, but I had, I had to go out and get another random brush. Luckily, it's Razorock. Razorock is a very trustworthy company. But wait, there's more. Yeah, I'm not even Italian. <laughs> but, so I got this. But it was, it's pretty cool. It's a soft synthetic brush. So I like my synthetic brushes. You're not even supposed to wet your synthetic brushes, but I do so. But Can you hear it? Yeah. <laughs> but like I said, thank God it was Razorock, because Razorock is a very trustworthy company. Next, we're gonna look at um, some aftershaves. So, we got the Planet Java Hive aftershave. I always like getting the matching aftershave. And this one smells like an iced coffee. This smells like a caramel latte, but with like alcohol infused. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this smells good. And what I like about Doug's stuff is um, they're long lasting too, so it'll last me a whole day. Next is the matching how to grow a mustache. Yeah, this, this smells like a lot like cologne. It does. That'll catch a lot of ladies' attention. <laughs> and next, I like this. I like the old school look at it. It looks like kind of like some cheap vodka, you know. And, and once again, Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd, exactly. Yeah. 
yeah, it's kind of strong, but I like it. It's like subtle but strong at the same time. Uh, I also got some Astro Blades. I know these are good for beginner blades and some Gillette Ruby Blades. I also have the Gillette 7 O'Clock Blades, so I'm excited to show you guys those soon. Uh, one thing I also got is the Phoenix Sargent and Accoutrements Brush Soap. This is really good to uh, just take care of your brushes. You don't want your brushes, the, the little whiskers on them to fall out. You don't want them to, to smell a certain way, so it's pretty good to take care of your brushes. No built-up silk or anything. Exactly. Ruins the face. All right, guys. So we had to bring it down a notch because the phone kept falling. So on to the last two things. I wanted to get a razor, two razors. Um, I wanted to get a McCurr razor, razor. Excuse me, but they were like eighty dollars, forty dollars. I wasn't. No. So again, he was already spending. Over $300. So I got the safety razor, uh, double open comb three piece from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. And it's a small razor, but it's very intimidating. Uh, it's gonna have a lot of blade exposure. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it, but it has a nice grip to it. And I'm just really excited to use this. You see the double blades and everything. Fun fact, I thought you just stuck the blade in there till he showed me that you had to open it up. All right guys, so <laughs> the last razor I purchased was the uh, Parker 45R double edge razor. And now uh, has a great handle, cool handle, has a lot of weight to it. But as you can see, it's very intimidating on my on my perspective. I didn't put the blade in yet, but you can see that there's gonna be a lot of blade exposure. So I read online that this is not for beginners, and I'm kind of like a beginner, so I'm gonna try my best to gently uh, grow as much facial hair as I can and shave with this because I heard that this could chop off a lot of your hair. So yeah, hopefully this is for the best. So everything I got I showed you guys was $330. Yeah, and to me, it was well worth it. I had no problem buying it. Um, if you're ever in the New York area and you're a wet shaver, check out Past Star Pharmacy on 34th and 53rd, I believe. 100% recommend it. I have never been into all of this shaving, this whole shaving situation. But standing there, it was like, I had no idea how much thought and how many products really come from all yeah. of it. So that's about it. Another, another thing, like, subscribe, and follow the Razor Effect on YouTube. Thumbnail.